My name's Ian Hope, I'm the Dams and Reservoirs Manager for Seven Trent Water. I'm a chartered civil engineer and I've had over 40 years in the industry. For me this has been a fantastic career, fascinating, every day is different and interesting challenges that we're confronted with. We're here today at Carsington Water, it's a very safe dam as you can see. Interestingly when Carsington was first built in 1984 before there was any water inside the dam, before there was any hydraulic loading, the dam itself failed. If you're here in June 1984, the original dam would have actually, you'd have witnessed a slip, a, a massive slip on the upstream face of the dam. What actually happened was that the additional loading from the uh, muck laying plant, compaction plant, actually started to cause a lens of weathered clay to move and the whole core itself slipped. So specialist civil engineers were called in to analyse the problem and it was decided that the whole dam had to be demolished and completely rebuilt. And again, specialist civil engineers undertook the, the new design and obviously civil engineers were closely involved in monitoring the construction of the new dam. Interestingly, civil engineers have been in, at the forefront of the forensic analysis to basically understand what went wrong, what caused the problem, and to make sure that it didn't happen again. In addition to that, we have civil engineers who are trained as supervising engineers. This is a legal requirement under the Reservoirs Act and they have to complete an annual report. And that annual report reports on the structural stability of the dam and highlights any particular concerns. We have another specialist civil engineer termed an inspecting engineer. And he effectively carries out an MOT of the dam. It's a 10 yearly check on the structural integrity and performance of the dam and it's assessed against today's standards. So when this dam is checked on a 10 yearly basis, it's done through the scrutiny of the knowledge that the industry has put together. So the dam you see here today is one of the safest structures that we have in the country. Civil engineers are also involved in, in planning and they would have been heavily involved in the planning the water distribution network and uh, water treatment works that supply the populations that this reservoir feeds. So the reservoir feeds uh, a water treatment works called Ogston Water Treatment Works and from there we provide treated water to the East Midlands, Mansfield, Nottingham and large conurbations such as that. So if you're an aspiring civil engineer, what, what's the future for you? Well I would say it's extremely interesting. As you can see here today, we've, we've got a structure that's nearly 40 years old Aspects of a, a structure such as this are ageing. We need to continually analyse and appraise the structural stability and safety of the reservoir. And inevitably there will be component parts that will be slowly degrading. And proactively we need to appraise where that degradation is, is occurring to better understand, first and foremost, how that degradation could be uh, impairing the operation of, of the structure but importantly how we can best replace those those degrading parts and if you look at the uh, reservoir industry uh, typically our dams are 110 years old in average so there's a lot of older structures out there that will be crying out for the expertise that you will be satisfying in the future and one of the things I've put together has been a training manual that you'll see extracts from as part of this video. But it's great to actually work with our operators to talk them through things they should look out for, early signs of change. And it's our operators that are out day to day looking at our structures, making sure that any early signs of possible failure are picked up early. So I've, I've put a lot of effort in, into putting that training course together, the training manuals together, and it's a great feeling when you actually get to the end of the training course and I've had a number of people say this is one of the best courses we've been on. It's an interesting subject but I hope I've been able to make the whole thing interesting uh, for them to sit through. When I was 16 I hadn't uh, really any great ideas as to what I wanted to do 
and I started working on a, a factory shop floor and I realised that um, only my own motivation and drive was actually going to provide for me an interesting career. And when I look back, I've got absolutely no regrets. I've been very fortunate. I've done a day release HNC and a day release degree. And that has given me that passport to actually work for some fantastic employers over the years. And as I mentioned earlier, there is so much work to do, so much interesting, fascinating work out here to get engaged with. No two days are the same. You get out onto sites, places like this, very enjoyable to see but also to be able to stand back and look at your achievements.